As regards the trending south news of the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin MFLA, the head of corporate communications of the CBN, Osita Onwasiobi, gave a rebuttal speech on Wednesday in Abuja, the Bonkin de Sac. According to reports from the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, the Central Bank of Nigeria denied the sack of its governor, Mr. Godwin Emefele, describing the report as a mere rumor. Although it would be interesting to know who Godwin Emefele really is. Godwin Emefele, before joining the CBN, has spent over 26 years in commercial banking, culminating in his tenure as Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Zenit Bank PLC, one of Nigeria's biggest banks. He was a lecturer in finance and insurance at two Nigerian universities. He holds degrees in banking and finance from the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, and is also an alumnus of Stanford University, Harvard, and Watson Graduate Schools of Business, University of Pennsylvania, all in the United States of America, where he took courses in negotiation, service excellence, critical thinking, leading change and strategy, and is presently a two-term governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. So far, as the CBN governor is concerned, he has recorded heights of achievements. For instance, he funded President Muhammad Buhari Agricultural Program. Also, MFLA, the ever innovator, devised measures such as flexible exchange rates in the interbank market to multiple windows effects, management for wholesales, invisible small and medium enterprises, and investors as such as exporters as well. MFLA also went further to participate in the All Progressive Party primary towards the 2023 presidential election to support his presidential aspiration on May 11, 2022. Associates of the Central Bank of Nigeria picked the All Progressive Congress APC presidential nomination form for the governor on his behalf. Although mixed reactions rose from both politicians and stakeholders regarding MFLF presidential ambition, as it may pose as a threat to exhibiting his regulatory and supervisory role as the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Later on, President Muhammad Buhari issued a directive to his appointees, which included MFLA, seeking to contest for elective office to resign from their positions. On May 9th, it was gathered that the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria reportedly went to court to seek constitutional clarification as to whether or not he could remain in office while running for president. Meanwhile, his counselor, Mike Ozakome applied for an order of status quo ante against INEC and AGF so as not to resign from office until 30 days before the general election. But Justice Ahmed Ramat Mohammed, in her ruling, turned down the application. Instead, she ordered MFLA to put the defendant on notice and also serve them with the court process. On social media, however, some Nigerians expressed their delight at the rumored dismissal of MFLA despite the fact that the Central Bank of Nigeria debunked the rumor about the alleged dismissal. Looking at the whole scenario towards the MFLA presidential ambition, should he still be allowed to contest for the come 2023 election until the court gives a go-ahead, then we will all know Godwin MFLA fits.